Vista and welcome aboard everyone. My name is Harley Trek and these are the voyages. I hope today finds you well my friends. Hard to be better even though the Lords of Summer Mountain Madness Tour has ended. Today oh. is the day we're headed home. Um, I am fortunate enough to be accompanied part of the way by the amazingly talented Mike Haley 7 off my port bow and uh, uh, unfortunately our third and best most skilled rider of the bunch. Arguably yep. uh, has uh, immediately had to go another direction. Yep. So uh, Moose 3971 is wending his way back to Michigan amidst much grumbling and protestation. But <laughs> Mike and I are headed back to our uh, respective areas, uh, North Carolina and North Georgia respectively. Yep, yep. Uh, we have, we've been on the road not very long, already been through our first toll gate. Yep. And um, we've got, I think it's six hours or something like that total uh, mileage yeah. uh, we got two hours together 100 uh, well 117 miles together and, yep. then, and then we'll split I'll go uh, head toward Knoxville uh, up yep. through Virginia and then Michael will head off back toward uh, Raleigh area yep. but uh, it has been a blast it's been scary it's been uh, hilarious <laughs> it's been, uh, you know, you named the emotion. I think I've been through it. Yeah. And um, it was just a good, the whole gamut. A, the whole gamut. It's just a good time was had by all. But I tell you, when us middle-aged dudes are done, we're done. We got back to the hotel and we were asleep in no time. <laughs> it's like, well, uh, there's no uh, shooting the, the crap by the fire because our fires are burning <laughs> out. I had to get, I had to go to sleep for like. So, well, all, all, two, all three nights running, basically. Yeah. It was, um, it was challenging. I mean, the heat and the curves and the unfamiliar road with the uh, many tar snakes and potholes and just rough surfaces. Yeah. But uh, I think we did all right. Yeah, you're not going to uh, ride a bike through this area and not uh, pound it up a little bit. So make sure you had your services done if you're coming this way. Yes. Your tires are in good shape. You're, uh, you've got your preload set on your suspension because uh, you're going to give them a workout. Yes, you are. It's definitely, I mean, it's fun if, if even if you're not a, uh, the type of person who likes to really lean it in the twisties and scrape your pegs, if, if you're, even if you're not that, you can still have fun. Just, you know, as always, be careful. Be smart. Yep. Um, don't uh, don't pass your beer to your buddy and say, "Hey, here, watch this," because yeah. uh, that's that never ends well. And no beer passing. Nope. One thing uh, to remember here is there's a lot of uh, decreasing radius turns that are not indicated at all. A lot. And the way they indicate that a turn is sharper than usual is just a yellow sign with a black arrow pointing in the direction you're headed. I never even clued into that. Yeah, that was pretty much it. It's not like, you know, the normal signs. You get the yellow with the... With the curve. The, 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 the less than, greater than, or whatever they're called. Yeah. The angled brackets. No, they don't have that here. Let's take a, a lane over, Mike. All right. Go up. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. I think I'm going to get into sixth here. There we go. Uh, also, if you're uh, heading into West Virginia, be aware that this is a toll road state. Yep. So you want to have cash with you unless you have an easy pass. Yeah, two dollars a bike. Yeah. I think we're going to pass through at least three of them. Yeah, we've hit one. Two more to go. So have cash on you or an easy pass. Let's see, what else could I think of for this? Um, just be aware of the heat if you're coming in the summertime. It, it was 104 degrees yesterday. Yep, and it was it was terrible. I mean, it, I was buying water by the liter bottles, and I killed three or four of those yesterday, and I'm yep. sure that wasn't enough. Yep. And I kept pouring ice into my jacket, like full, <laughs> full sleeves of ice I to keep me cool. I couldn't bring myself to do that. <laughs> it, really, it really helped, I, I swear. But when you're rolling, if you got a mesh jacket, uh, it is much preferable to riding just in, in t-shirt sleeves because uh, yes. you will cook. Otherwise, this is free-flowing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and 
had a dry throat. But uh, you will cook yourself in a heartbeat if you don't cover up. Yes. I mean, I'm going to go on this truck. Yep. It feels it feels horrible when you first suit up and get on the bike. But get down the road about 30 seconds and it'll feel wonderful. Yes, yes. And um, have one of those do-rags that um, wicks away moisture. Yep. I have the heat-out do-rag or... What's the one? You, the one you guys have? What's that made out of? Uh, it's, a, it's made out of like a, a microfiber. Uh, we bought a yeah. Hills Gap uh, last year, and it's so been get those. it's been great. You want to have some, and then you soak it down with cold water, and you get one of those uh, neck tubes made yeah. out of the same kind of material. Yep, yeah, whatever. It's going to be tight ahead here. Roger. Yeah, see these angled brackets? They don't have these a lot on the back roads. Especially on the really steep curves. Right. So the deck, the deck tube is very important. Soak it, soak that down with cold water it's like as a, much as you can. Yeah, it's like a buff for those of you who are familiar with Survivor. They can be Harley marked. They can be generic. They can be whatever. But it's what it whatever. is. Whatever. Yep. And, I've uh, got a camouflage one, and every time I put it on, my neck disappears. <laughs> and that's saying something. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, you soak that down. I started wearing mine at the uh, at last year's hooting handy because it keep the sun off my neck and I wouldn't get sunburned. But yeah, wet it down, wet your uh, do rag down, and roll on. It helps a lot, and guaranteed you will be dry when you arrive at your destination. Oh yes, you'll be dry very soon. I think it's about 20 minutes, maybe 30 at the most. Wow, that is quick. And my ice melts in that time too. Although I did have that one cube come out of my jacket right. at the end of the ride. Right, when we got back uh, to the hotel. Yeah, I even put it down the front of my jacket inside because I have the waist since tight yep. and it held the ice right around my belly. I was happy. <laughs> that I have no doubt. Mercy, sakes alive. What a trip. The food here was great. Oh gosh, yes. Uh, we went to the uh, Biscuit World for breakfast. It was right next. Oh, the hotel, by the way. It's a regional chain, yeah. Uh, the hotel. It's um, the Budget Host Hotel on uh, Route 60 in uh, Charleston. Yeah, uh, Kanawa Boulevard. 3313 yep. is the street address. Nice people. It is not the Ritz Carlton. It is not no. uh, the. Uh, uh, the, the Hilton. Yes, the Hilton. It's not. It's not anything like that. It is no. a, a motel on yep. par with, uh, say, your your Motel Sixes, maybe your Super Eights. I've never stayed yep. in a Super Eight, so I do not know. But it is older. But it is clean. Yep. Uh, the people are great. Yep. Uh, you can park your bike right in front of your room, which I'm a big fan of. Oh yeah. And um, it was cheap. Uh, we, uh, the three of us, shared a three a three bed room for. Um, hundred bucks a night, something like that. Yep. yep. And uh, that's cheap as ships, especially on my uh, non-existent budget for a trip. Yeah. And uh, you know, I, I could handle that. It was fantastic. Yep. If you're paying with a card, you just pay and you go. If you're paying by cash, they want a deposit. Then you got to put a deposit down. Can't, you know, because they don't want you damaging the room or running or something, and they can't get their money back, which is totally understandable. Right. There's a river. The Kanawha River is behind the hotel. The little viewing platform, a little swing back there. Yep, and you can see the hills and stuff. It's, it's very pretty. Yeah, we watched a thunderstorm come in yesterday afternoon after we got back off the road. Yes, that was nice. Indeed. We didn't get rained on at all on the bikes. Nope, not a bit. Kind of wishing at one point. Yes, we were. And the, the people are very friendly here in West Virginia. They're very talkative. They come up to you and say, hey, where are you from? Yeah, we were asked several times where we come from. Of course, the bikes yep. are the ultimate icebreaker. You get two Ultra Limiteds and a Street Glide Special together, and they yep. draw the eye. And they, they beep as we're parked. They beep when they drive by, and they, they put a yeehaw fist in the air. Yeah. And they wave at you. Amazing stuff. And we and Very we, happy. And, and we were not... Uh, a rare thing. I mean, there were bikes all over the place this weekend. Yes, there were. Yeah, that's true. Oh, some advice uh, for for anybody with a full face helmet, which I would definitely recommend. Indeed. But um, if you put uh, mousse or pomade in your hair, 
move that shit out <laughs> because your head's going to sweat and all that stuff's going to run down into your eyes and sting your eyes the whole damn day. Also, my advice is keep keep any kind of uh, cream or sunblock off your face. Make sure that your, your face shield thingy has um, UV protection on it. Right. Because that stuff will get into your eyes, even if you don't put it up on above your eyes, it'll still get in there. Yep. And you don't want your eyes stinging you when you're trying to see in curves. Right. And you, that you, sucked. Yeah. And if you wear contact lenses, that just adds uh, insult to injury. Oh God, yeah. Oh. Yeah, because you can't. That, that's even worse. Yeah. Oh, can't even imagine. I would recommend uh, going to uh, Hawk's Nest. Yep. There's a, a great twisty road that almost killed us. <laughs> and the uh, and, uh, the thumbnail for this video will be uh, a, a photo op that uh, that we took. That's you know most of you have probably already seen on Facebook and what have you, but Mike came up with it. Uh, Jason executed it brilliantly. But yes. uh, that's where we made that photograph at. Yep. The roads will kill you, though. Yeah, you got to be extra careful. It's not like um, a lot of roads that we rode in North Carolina last year, where there, it was pretty clear indications. You could kind of trust the road signage. Uh, but uh, on this thing, the, the quality of the roads was not as good. The turns were a, a lot of times uh, surprisingly sharper. Yeah. And they're off canter. There's like a hill onto a hill, sharp curves. It was very challenging. Yeah, it was like a reversing grade or a double grade down and down. Or it was uh, it was enough to keep you on your toes. And if you ride it aggressively, like we did that first, uh, well, our, day two was our first real day of riding. Yeah. Um, if you ride it aggressively, you're going to exhaust yourself. Yep. I mean that's fine. We we had a great time. We did ride it aggressively. We pushed the envelope. They put, uh, the the push day, back. Did, yeah, the envelope yeah. pushed back a little bit. Yes, yes it did. And then um, the next day, we did, uh, what was that road? Uh, we went down to uh, Logan. Down this little road toward Logan. And that was nice and twisty, but nothing crazy. And uh, we took it easy. And we had a wonderful time. Yeah, it was great. I enjoyed it all. Except we the part where, we almost, the where we almost got, got hurt. Yes. Stay off uh, the main roads if you can. Yep, main roads are, uh, are, are terrible to navigate. And the uh, there's a lot of bumps in them. You'll notice in our videos we're going, Adu! Adu! Yeah. Ooh, geez, he cut that too close in front of that truck. He sure did. strong should we get over or should we pass them I uh, don't know I mean we'd be obligated to keep uh, increased speed if we passed it seems to be kind of insulting if we pass and slow down but then I don't want to be held up by them either I'm in the quantity yeah if I, I said the... pass okay I will pass all right here we go single file engage This is I-77, and this is twisty, but it's nothing uh, nothing that you can't really handle. No, anybody, uh, as, as you can see, with any experience can doing, handle it. We're doing 72, roughly. We're doing all right. Yeah, it's basically slalom. Watch out for the right. Roger that. So folks, that's about the uh, the gist of our weekend. We had a great time as we always do when we're a threesome. Uh, we uh, ride hard, laugh hard, uh, screw up hard, uh, laugh at ourselves and each other hard. So um, for those of you attending the Who Nanny, Godspeed to you all. And as I always say, ride them if you got them and live long and prosper.